Remember when I made this graphic in my spread shirt video? Well, it's time to make a part two, which I hope you guys are doing with your own designs. Don't think a design is a one and done. The idea is to always elevate and evolve. Promote your shirt, further its progress. You should be able to make one design and take it to the next. And if you're successful at what you're doing, your career will reflect that elevation as well. Just remember this, nothing starts from nothing. Make that move. But more on that soon. So as always, everything that I design will be downloadable. Make sure you pick up this graphic. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and bail me so you know when my next tutorial is coming out. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the idea for the last design was that I wanted to elevate educated men, and not just any man, the natural man, the man that does his hair in dreadlocks and sponge dreads and stuff like that, because that's the new age guy, the guy that's coming out of college right now. And in his remix, I wanna make one for women as well, because there's a lot of natural hair women coming out of school too. So I wanna go ahead and drop in my graphic that I illustrated into this document and go from there. Okay, so here's the graphic, I put this in, and I want to make sure that this graphic has hierarchy. I want to make sure that it pops off. So I need to put something behind it, not to pretty much take away attention, but to give attention. So I want to put like a circle border behind it and go from there. So I'm going to come to my toolbar and pick the ellipse tool. And behind the graphic, I just want to go ahead and draw out a circle. Something a little bit like this. And then inside of the shape, I want to give it some type of color. And the color is supposed to make the graphic pop off some. So on a new layer, I want to take the lasso tool and go around the face of this to give it some actual skin tone color. And that looks pretty good. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the graphic, make a copy of it, and then move that layer a little bit over some just to get some more depth on the other side of the head because it looks like the locks on the other side is just a little bit thin then i can just put this on a layer mask and brush out the stuff that i don't need so what i want to do is i want to put everything into one group real quick and then i want to open up a new layer now this new layer is for the text so i'm going to take another circle tool real quick and i just want to go ahead and make that same circle right here Except this time, I want to make it just a little bit more bigger than what it actually was. Something a little bit like this. So with this circle, I want to put my message around it. And what I want to say is something like black and educated. So typing out this first part of the phrase is pretty simple. And oh yeah, by the way, I'm using Gabriel Weiss font from Friends. So that's just something if you guys want to download, it will be in the description box below. But all you need to do is click on this circle, maybe like right here, and then type out what you need to type out. So I'm going to type out black and I'm going to use the ampersand for and. And I just want to go ahead and turn that ellipse off real quick so I can see what I'm doing. I like where it's at. It looks like a crown right there, but I want it to have more impact. So I'm going to raise it up to maybe 175 pixels in font size. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, the educated part is just a little bit more trickier. I need to bring back the circle, but I might take out the graphic real quick so I can just look at this, right? What we want to do is we want to take that type tool and we want to click somewhere at the bottom and we can type out the word educated. Except as you notice, it goes off to the side. So what we need to do is we need to take the path tool, which is this icon right here. And we need to move this educated inside and a little bit like this here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this ellipse and then bring back our graphic. Now, as you can see, that's not right. Like it doesn't look that good, right? However, if we hit command T and then just scale this up some, this is what we get. Now, the hair is still in the way, and there's some things that we can do to fix that out. Like for starters, I could take that mask layer and clip that to the ellipse. That'll remove some of the hair that's already in the way. As you can see, it's doing that in and out thing. The second thing we can do to separate the hair from the word is to actually put a white stroke on the educated. So I'm going to go ahead and put a white stroke here. I think that looks good there. Now, here's an old Photoshop trick I used to do just to kind of remove everything that's white that I didn't need, right? I would hit Command, Option, Shift, and E or just make a composite shot. And then I would use the Magic Wand tool to put a mask on all the white. And then if I turned off the background, those sections where those strokes would have been in the way is now gone. I could just use the black brush on that layer mask to take out anything else that I don't really need. Now this looks pretty good, but it's missing a certain flare. As a matter of fact, it's not balanced on this right side. So everything on the left looks pretty good, but I'm missing something over here. So I'm gonna take the rounded rectangle tool and just make this rectangle right here like this. And inside of this, I wanna type out the word strong. And then I want to put both of those elements into one group. 
And with that being said, you guys, that's technically it. So I made three versions of this. You guys can pick all three of them up at Patreon whenever you want them. I want to give a quick shout out to my new supporters and my old supporters as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all that you are doing. You're helping this channel grow and you're practically keeping me on my toes. And because of that, I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are keeping me creative and awesome. Thank you. But with that being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So stay amazing. Stay creative. But above all else, stay awesome.